Baltimore City School Board voted last night to shut down four schools before the next academic year. WJZ is live at City School Headquarters. Derek Valcourt has details on which schools will close and the reactions in those communities. Derek? The school system has to do this from time to time, deciding which schools they need to keep open, which ones they can shut down. This year's list has some happy and others frustrated. News that Baltimore Community High is on the closure list is being celebrated in the Dundalk community at Borders. I'm thinking, oh, great. I don't have to worry about this no more, and neither do my neighbors. For years, residents like Pat Boya have been complaining that kids at the Alternative High School have caused fights, property damage, and other problems. But the brutal April beating of one of their neighbors by several students at the school pushed many, including Baltimore County Councilman Todd Crandell, to appeal to city school leaders to shut it down. Was this school creating a lot of tension in this community? Oh, there's no question. They're creating a lot of tension, a lot of aggravation. So I think the uh, community is feeling a sense of relief. Um, I'm certainly pleased with the decision. Community High, one of four schools slated to close after a vote by the school board as part of their annual review of underused or poor performing schools. We really um, think carefully about these recommendations. There's a lot of analysis that goes into it. But not everyone is happy with the decisions. Um, I think it's very detrimental to a community that's already been hit hard. Spencella Dobson, one of many frustrated with the closure of Westside Elementary School in the Penn North neighborhood, recently devastated by the Freddie Gray unrest. They felt safe dropping their kids off here, even though there was, you know, armed men on every corner. Those children now shifted to a nearby school. The closures will all take effect at the end of the current school year. Derek Valcourt, WJZ Eyewitness News. Derek, thank you. And the school board is still studying the recommendation to close a fifth school.